welcome back to my channel guys if you're new here I'm Tina I'm a full-time reseller I buy things to sell on eBay for a profit today I am getting my thrift fix in before Christmas probably my last trip to the thrifts we are sticking around Pennsylvania today going around the Lehigh Valley area and uh, see if we can find anything good I have noticed you have to go to like three or four stores to really come away with a bag of stuff lately. Um, and that's focusing on hard goods, not really clothing. Uh, just the way it is. I don't know. Thrifting has been, uh, it gets a little, it gets a little crazy. And I guess in the winter when there's no yard sales or anything, everyone flocks to the thrift store. So it's kind of uh, a little bit more challenging for the reseller. So anyway, we're going to pop into a couple today, see if we can find anything worthwhile flipping, and um, yeah, then I'm going to be back to resuming holiday activities. Uh, I need to bake some Christmas cookies with my daughter today. I bought all those cookies at the sale a couple weeks ago. I was not going to do any baking, but I couldn't say no to her. So we're going to do that and uh, some other things. I am hoping to get a few things listed. I should be listing instead of... Uh, instead of thrifting today, if I'm being honest, um, because I've been so busy finishing up shopping and things like that, that I have not really done much listing in a few days. So, uh, yeah, but anyhow, let's go. All right, guys, first stop is good old Hellertown. Let's go see if they have anything. They have half price Christmas Eve. That is a really pretty set. All right, so we do have this American Girl doll here. Um, she's from 2017. I think she might be one of those, um, like, just like you kind of gals. She is $16.91, or maybe that's $10.91. If that's $10.91, I think I'm going to get her. Um, just because I'm sure she's worth, like, $30 or $40 at least. Her hair is a little bit of a mess. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go clarify the price on this girl. Okay, so she's $10.91, so we're going to get her. Bubba. Bubba is looking rough. Bubba's looking real rough. I don't deal with a whole lot of plush, but I should probably start looking more of it up. So I know some can do really well. We have back here. This little watermelon is super cute. <laughs> Let's check his tag. He is just the Woodland Bear Co. Heritage Mint. All right, looks like this guy sold for like. $25 in a lot with other things, but I just don't think I'm gonna get him. And then there's this cute little vintage Del Monte pineapple, but he only sells for like $6.99 plus shipping. <clears throat> I'm gonna move out of the plush. I think we're gonna head over to my favorite spot, the dinnerware. All right, well. Browse the flatware. Mm. Nothing really exciting, and they're all pretty worn. Unfortunately, this section too is rather blah. Okay, we'll keep moving on. I don't think I'm going to spend much more time in this particular store. All right, the dinnerware again is looking pretty darn generic. There's none of the patterns that I would be interested in selling, unfortunately. Wow, look at this. Look at this bunny. And the ceramic head. Some kind of a shelf sitter. I don't think she's branded. And Mickey Mouse. He's a bank. Ooh, he's got some wear. 
He's going to have some more wear by the time I'm done with him. <laughs> oh, I see a few things that were here for a while, and I haven't even been in this store um, in a few weeks. Some alabaster horse bookends. That one is hanging on by a thread. Here is a Fenton Silver Crest platter. $28.92. Nope. We are going to leave you behind. All right. I think we're going to go check out the. Uh, it's not marked. I figure maybe we'll check out over by the electronics and then we'll head on out of here. All right. Real quick. Walking through the shoe department on my way uh, to the electronics. I see a pair of Alegrias. These are a very small size, but they look like they're in really great condition. So for $8.99, I think I'm going to grab them, um, even though I do still have quite a death pile of shoes to work through. I think I'll get those. All right, guys, so we only got two things there. Got the American Girl doll and the Alegria shoes in a very small size, but uh, we're gonna move on to another one to see if we can find anything. This guy's kind of cool. It's one of those handmade ceramics. I just like his coloring. Yeah, it is a really nice coach. He's like a planter. I guess he is kind of like a planter. I don't see like anything that indicates the mold. Oh, there it is. Byron mold. I think I'm going to get this guy. I just really like him. Yeah. Can I leave this guy here? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. He's cute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put him in a little basket and put him over here underneath the counter. So if you want to add anything to it, you can. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Is the Christmas on sale or not? Yet? Yes, Christmas is half off. Oh, oh cool. So he's two fifty. Yes, he is. Woohoo! I'm gonna get this. I have some of these at home still, but I'm gonna add yeah. this to my pile. Yeah, I think I've um, I think I. I think I have several of these, and I think I've sold one so far. So I'll just add it to the quantity, unless I'm wrong. Not bad. North Face boots. So are you guys off tomorrow or wait work until Friday? Eight ninety nine. We're working until Saturday. We'll add those to the little basket. We're not doing a long. They have a little um, bit of gray, day, but I think they're okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a short. You know, it's gonna be um till two. Sure. This guy's kind of cool. That's how that Santa. You know, like yeah. clothes, they I can't tell what he is. I can't see what that marking says. Lots of little hummels. Mm -hmm. They're not hummels, I don't think. Look at this guy. What's <laughs> that guy doing? <laughs> I don't see any markings on him. But I think I do know what he is. And I can't remember the name of the brand. All right, we're not going to spend too much more time in here because I'm just not seeing anything. I do want to check the flatware real quick because I have found good flatware in here before. Um, but it may have been a fluke. This is just silver plate. 
which looks like a pattern I may have already. All right. They even have clothes back here now. Holy moly. Alrighty. I'm not really seeing anything interesting here. Oh, this is the dollar clothing rack. Um... Nah. I'm just really not interested in the clothes lately. I do still have some in my death pile to list, but not my favorite thing. All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up in this store. We're going to go pay and head to the next. Okay, so second store is done. So, so far, two things per store. Uh, see if we find at least two things at the, the next. Um, but I looked up that Byron Mold Santa and there's one sold. Someone took a best offer. I'll pop that up on the screen. Um, and then uh, and then I'll show you what I listed mine for. I'll pop that up on the screen. I think the coloring on mine is a little nicer. It, I want to say like the antique look, but that's not quite what I'm going for. Maybe it's like maybe more of an old world paint job. I don't know, but I really like the coloration of mine. I think it looks really good. Um, I guess it could be a planter, except for the fact that it has holes in the feet. Um, so I'm not really sure. Or maybe you could just like, I don't know, someone has it like advertised as like a card holder, but I don't think that's it either. Um, I'm not really sure what you could do with that, but the buyer can figure that okay, out. Okay, I also want to mention I did not get the North Face boots. I put those back. Um, they were definitely an older model, but um, the soles looked in really good condition, but upon further inspection before I checked out, I realized like the outer like leather was like peeling. So they were definitely a no-go. They went back on the shelf. So yeah, that's what happened to those. Uh, so yeah, I only got the Santa and the mug. All right, let's All right, guys, so we are actually at the Liberty Thrift. Uh, I normally don't come here because I've never really done well here. I've never liked their prices, their inventory, or anything else. But it is only about a half mile away from the other store that I was going to go to that I'm still going to go to. Um, it's, uh, it's on the other side of the street. So I figure I'll hit this one and then I'll get on the other side and I'll hit that one and salvo and then call it a day. So yeah, we are going to run into Liberty, see if we can find anything. Sun's finally out of my eyes. All right, which door do you go in? This one or this one? All right, we have 50% off all Christmas. And I'm not seeing anything that I actually want to purchase. This is cute, this little advent. Looks like it's missing one, day 16. It sure is. 25% off toys and games. Wow, there's a lot of Christmas in here. This guy's super cute. I bet he's Yankee Candle, but he's broken there, and he's missing the little holder. Yep, Yankee. I knew it. These look like some homemade jobs. They are very cute. Quick scan here. Nada. What are these? These are like eggs. Home goods. Little Lennox snowman down there, not really worth much. This is cute with the little candle hugger, but not really worth it for resale. The little candle topper is very cute. 
It is really, really cute. I'm a little chipped, a little chipped by the holly. You really gotta look at those things. <laughs> Harry Slatkin sold it Bath and Body Works. So it's actually really cute. Some of his stuff can do really well, but I doubt that snowman because it's so small. You never know though. We have a little Anna Lee. It's an older one. Probably want. I don't know what they want. He's not priced. This guy's kind of nice. He's got all kinds of animals. Too. Another one that looks handmade, but super cute. I really like that. They did a nice job. These look like a combination of Fisher Price and Precious Moments. They're probably, I don't know, they're not marked. Alright, I'm going to try to speed it up and get through here. This looks like a pure one ornament. It's empty. Wah, wah, wah. All right, so up here we have some false graph Yorktown. Um, they're all $19.99 a piece, which I think is a little steep. But I think for the 12 piece glasses, I think it might be okay. Um, eight of the tumblers new in box sell for like $65 plus shipping. And this is a 12 piece set. So I think I might grab those two. Uh, I'm going to think about it for a few minutes. All right, then right on the other side of the false graph, we have these little fishy plates. Calavera, which is usually a Mexican brand, made in China. They're 99 cents a piece. I think they're really cute. I think I might grab these. And, uh, still thinking about the false graph. I should probably get a cart. These are false graph Yorktown too. 99 cents a piece. These actually do okay in lots as well, but I don't think I'm going to mess with them since they're loose today. I don't want to have to stand there and wrap them all and everything else. Like I kind of want to get on to the other stores and move on with my day. Travel mug missing the top. That's a really nice pattern though. These are temptations, I would guess. Yes, they sure are. 49 cents a piece. Two little ramekins. I think I'm gonna grab those as well. I mean, they're not gonna sell for a crazy amount, but I like them. And now I need to get a cart. B original. B collection. One of these. One of them's chipped. Oh, Pioneer Woman. $1.99. Holy mackerel. Those are kind of nice. Tabletops. Little spice jars. even have room for the label. I don't know how much they are. They're not priced. Maybe I should leave these ramekins. Oh, that 50 cent price point though really, uh, really gets me. I need to, I need to see what this is. Oh, I knew it. Oh, I am making a bunch of noise. You're a tart. <laughs> That's actually hysterical. But this is um, Droll Designs. And I've actually done well with some of their stuff before. And this is just like hysterical. So I'm getting this. If anything, I can gift it to someone at some point. Someone that I want to offend. 
Uh, ooh, that's heavy. I need to go get a cart. Okay, I went up to get a cart and I found three boxes of these false scrap winter wood and they are half off. So they're gonna be $9.99 a box. So I'm stoked about that. I think they may have been used and maybe put back in, but I think they'll still do well. There's not really any listed like this. Okay, so not too shabby here. I got the fish plates, the draw design plates, and the three false graph things here. And And I spent a total of $38.12. All right, guys, so I am about to leave thrift store number six. So yeah, I found stuff at the first three, as you guys could see, and the other ones, the other ones, um, not even making it to video. I did not find anything in the last three stores. So that was nothing at the Last Chance Ranch. Nothing at the Second Liberty Thrift. And nothing at the Salvation Army. So <laughs> it is time to go home. I am going to head home, hit the grocery store, and uh, take care of business at home. So yeah, I think that, um, like I said, thrifting in this area is really, really hard. Um, I mean, granted, I didn't really look at the clothes or shoes most places. You know, I took a little glance at the shoes, but um, as far as the hard goods go, it was, it was slim. It was slim pickings. This is going to be um, definitely a tough winter for thrifting so I don't think I'm gonna do a whole lot of it to be honest with you um, once in a while I will go out but uh, not gonna do a whole lot of it I think I'm gonna focus on other things first and foremost listing my death pile that is what I'm gonna work on for the next couple days up until Christmas um, and yeah I'm just I'm gonna keep my eye out for estate sales and auctions and stuff like that and kind of skip a lot of the thrifting because it's just not uh it's just not what it used to be so i'll tell you one thing i am ready for the yard sales to start again so all right guys that's gonna wrap up this video and if you've liked this video please give me a thumbs up comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time i upload and until next time bye